What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and it's time for the week two team analysis matchup for the Eternity City Enders versus the Miami Rotom Heat, who of course are coached by Erasmus. Now of course, the Eternity City Enders and the Miami Rotom Heat are coming off of both, we're both coming off of 1-0 victories over our opponents in the first week. So we're in not only basically the exact same position as far as ranking or just overall team strength, but actually most teams who had, the teams who had victories rather, in week one, won by very, very slim margins. So it's just really, really interesting to see that overall. To me, that just indicates the level of skill for all the players in the league. Most people here know what they're doing. Uh, so I, that just really excites me to, to go up against some of these other players. But enough about that. Let's talk specifically about the matchup. Of course, you can see the Miami Rotom Heat lineup on the side there with Clefable, Starmie, Tornadus T, Electros, Gastrodon, Tauros, Mian Shao, Mega Agron, and Zoroark. Now, I did mention this team in the matchup in kind of the draft overall analysis, uh, having some just a really well balanced team overall. When you look at a team like that, it, it has a couple of special attackers, a couple of physical attackers, ways to set up entry hazards. Uh, you have things that might be Scarf, you have Zoroark in there that can go physical or special, and similarly to Electros that can go physical or special. Um, Clefable can even set up or run a defensive role in the same way that Starmie can run defensive roles or be a special attacker. Uh, something like Tauros is a little bit more uh, defined in its role overall, just with being a physical sweeper. And then you have Mianxiao that can go Scarf, Bandit, Life Orb, Regenerator, or it, it can just do a couple different things while Mega Aggron can just be a pain generally to take down. Now, all that being said, what is the plan for the Eterna City Enders going into this team matchup? Uh, I think that my main strength here is going to be to overwhelm my opponent with offensive pressure. He actually doesn't have, besides Mega Aggron, he doesn't have a really good way to deal with uh, Florges. Florges is able to kind of sit in on a lot of his team members with, I guess, a few exceptions with some of his Pokemon being able to get uh, Steel or Poison type coverage, like Mianxiao can run Poison Jab, uh, Electros can get Acid Spray, little random things like that, but other than that, Florges can basically sit in on them, like especially especially defensive Florges would do a really good job here, so that'll be a really good shoe win. Uh, Tyranitar with Stoutland looks very nice right here. A Choice Bandit Stoutland can 2-hit KO almost every single one of his Pokemon. I'm not sure if it can 2-hit KO Electros, and I definitely don't think it can 2-hit KO Mega Akron. Uh, and I need to see the speed as far as a Choice Scarf me and Shao outspeeding the Stoutland in the sand. If I can, because I, I feel like if he uses me and Shao, it's going to be Scarf just based on his team structure. Besides, he has he has Zoroark, me and Shao, and Tornadus Therian as far as his faster Pokemon go. And with only three Pokemon that he has being faster, that kind of relegates them to those specific roles. And that being said, Noivern looks like an interesting choice here too. Uh, it can two it KO Clefable with Hurricane, unless it's a specially defensive build. And then nothing else wants to take a Draco Meteor and I can use Flamethrower for coverage against Mega Aggron. So that's a possible option as well. Now I'm not really sure uh, if I do go with the Tyranitar, Stoutland type deal, what moves to run on Tyranitar? Tyranitar runs into a lot of problems against Clefable, Starmie, uh, Tornadus T can run fighting type coverage, Electros can run fighting type coverage, Gastrodon can burn it, uh, Mian Shao and Mega Agron, and of course Zoroark even, all have ways to hit Tyranitar really hard. So just looking at that, it's hard to, to say that Tyranitar fits into this team matchup very well but just the offensive presence of Stoutland. So hard to pass that up. Uh, speaking of offensive and presence, of course, he doesn't have, he, I think he has two really good reliable ways to deal with Talonflame, which just screams to throw a choice bin on Talonflame and just let it just, just let it go free. Just Brave Bird, all of the things, like Yellow Swallow has taught us so many times. But that is definitely an option as well, uh, or as an, as an alternative, of course, just bring Sharp Beak on Talonflame. 
to give it a little bit more longevity at the cost of some offensive power. Uh, of course, with Talonflame, I'm really not afraid of a Choice Scarf. Anything here. Um, Talonflame, he's basically relegated to switching into Electros or Mega Agron. And even with that, only Starmie and Gastrodon really want to take Flare Blitz. So, Talonflame alone puts immense pressure on his team, and I really like that. Uh, another player who's interesting here is Toxicroak. Toxicroak allows me to deal with the Clefable pretty easily. Uh, it also gives me the Sucker Punch option versus Starmie and the Tornadus T. And then also, Toxicroak can utilize Low Kick to get an easy one-hit KO on Mega Aggron, provided I'm able to get a Sword Stance boost. I don't think I can one-hit KO it with a uh, plus one from a bulk up, so I'm going to need to run some stats and some spreads there just to see if there's a way for me to one-hit KO it. Uh, I expect Mega Aggron to kind of be his lead. I, he has so many Pokemon that he can lead with here that that's a little bit annoying on the matchup, just as far as kind of predicting his lead, because he can go with Zoroark and just U-turn out with Zoroark and Mianxiao, and to a lesser extent Electros all being able to use U-turn. He can disguise it as a few different things. He can also lead with Aggron just to get up his entry hazards. He can lead with Mianxiao and fake something out. Or he can lead with Electros just for the good general bulk and paralyze something or just have great coverage and being able to hit whatever I lead with. So I will have to be cognizant of how that lead matchup goes. I expect him to hear, I, I really expect him to expect me to bring Talonflame, so it's most likely that we're going to see Mega Aggron with some type of rock type coverage, uh, probably going to see the Mian Xiao just because of how good of coverage it has against my team, just kind of being able to high jump kick everything in the face in the same way that my low punny can do that. And um, I do also expect to see Electros. I don't know if we will see Tauros in this battle just because Tauros is not fast enough to really deal with my team. Um, granted Tauros can hit really hard, but if he doesn't get an opportunity to do so, don't know if there's a real point in that. Uh, speaking of which, Levani is not a great Pokemon to bring to this matchup. Um, I, I guess I could hit Gastrodon, but just being threatened by so many of these other Pokemon and, and generally being frail. I really like Sticky Web for this matchup because he has so many Pokemon grounded, uh, but it would be really easy for him to spin it away with Starmie. Granted, he can't really switch in Starmie on Levani due to me being able to outspeed him and uh, with a possible Scarf on Levani, but that I don't think that that's a real good way to look at that though, but Sticky Web with Starmie um, and Zoroark and Mianxiao would be really, really nice. Be out making three of your opponent's fastest Pokemon slower. Definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, Tornadus T can also be relatively versatile, uh, running whether it's just the general special set and then trying to run Hurricane, which I don't know if you will want to do that because Hurricane is very unreliable in Sandstorm. Uh, but even outside of that, he could just run a physical Tornadus T or have it have Tailwind support to help speed up some of his slower Pokemon. But again, it doesn't matter how fast he is because I can just resort to Gale Wing's Talonflame. And it will be important to keep in mind that he can use Fake Out from me and Shao on Talonflame. So I will, if I, when I'm using it, I have to make sure I keep it at a level of HP where me and Shao cannot KO it with a Fake Out. Either that or just make the easy switch out into something else. But then again, that runs into the issue of getting into the U turn gambit and. His ability to disguise his Pokemon as Zorark is going to be an interesting mind game overall for this matchup. Uh, so that's just a few things I'm going to keep in mind. Right now, I'm going to say that my uh, expected lineup is going to be Mega Lawpunny, Talonflame, Florges, Toxicroak, Noivern, and I'm not sure on the last slot. But Mega Law Punny, I might, I, th I think I feel okay running High Jump Kick in this matchup. I might switch it up and uh, utilizing Encore Baton Pass here with Substitute will be really useful as uh, not, he, he basically can't take repeated hits from Mega Law Punny in Stoutland. Talonflame is going to be pretty simple. Flying move, or rather Brave Bird, Roost, Flare Blitz, and then I'll figure out that last item there. Maybe U-Turn. Uh, 
Uh, Florges is probably going to be the specially defensive build. Iris just seems to be like a good Pokemon to use here because he has a lot of more specially oriented Pokemon. And I don't want to keep it around Aggron anyway. Toxicroak, I will need to run some damage calcs to see if I can get away with running a bulky or bulk up set. Otherwise, it'll, it's going to have to be the Swords Dance set, going with things like Gunk Shot, Low Kick, and Sucker Punch. Uh, Noivern will definitely be just kind of a, a utility Pokemon that I'm going to use. I might use it with Switcheroo, but it's much more likely that I will use Noivern to just kind of hit and run. Knock some holes in this team, especially if I can get rid of Clefable early on. That'll be a really nice Pokemon to have. And uh, I'll figure out that last slot later. It's looking like Stoutland right now, but... That, that really depends on if I end up running Tyranitar, too. So, alright guys, I'll have that battle up soon and wish the Eternity City Enders luck. Hopefully we'll have a nice, strong, clean match with the Miami Rotom Heat. Alright guys, look forward to it. Bye.